day two for Army Recognition editorial team at Expo Defensa, the international defense exhibition in Bogota, Colombia. Today we will focus to the Colombian defense industry. We had the chance to make an exclusive interview with two companies from Colombia. The company Tor presents a new unmanned turret armored with a 30mm cannon. This turret will be integrated to the M117 in service with the Colombian Armed Forces. The Colombian state company Indomil presents a wide range of new assault rifles, pistols and submachine guns. At Expo Defensa 2017, the Colombian Army presents the latest generation of combat vehicles in service with the land forces. Behind me is a Striker, an 8x8 armored combat vehicle designed and manufactured by the American company General Dynamics Land System. The vehicle is called Gladiator in the Colombian Army. For the original American Striker, the vehicle is fitted with a conspect turret, but for the Gladiator of the Colombian Army, the vehicle is fitted with a Samsung turret armored with a 12.7mm machine gun designed and manufactured by the company Rafael. The Gladiator can carry a total of 11 military personnel, including driver, commander and gunner. There is 8 individual seats for infantrymen. The infantrymen can leave and enter in the vehicle thanks to a hydraulic ramp mounted at the rear of the vehicle. The Gladiator offers 360 degrees ballistic protection against firing of small arms and artillery shell splinters. Two other new combat vehicles in service in the Colombian Armed Forces is the Cobra and the M1117. The Cobra is a 4x4 combat vehicle designed by the Ministry of Defense of Colombia. The vehicle is based on the Chevrolet chassis. The vehicle is available in four configurations. It can be fitted with different types of weapons, including rocket launcher system and anti-tank guided missile spike. The M1117 is an American-made armored combat vehicle designed and manufactured by the company Textron. In the Colombian Army, the vehicle is called Pegaso. In the Colombian Army, the vehicle is available in two different types of configuration. The Commando Select which is fitted with an open-top turret armored with a 12.7mm EV machine gun and the Commando Advanced, which is fitted with a one-man turret which can be armored with a 12.7mm EV machine gun or a 40mm automatic grenade launcher. The vehicle can carry a total of seven military personnel, including driver, commander and gunner. My name is Jorge Gonzalez. I'm the general manager of Thor International. We're a Colombian company. We've been in business for 14 years now. Uh, we started out manufacturing gun mounts, and right now we're focusing mostly on remote control weapon stations. We started working one year ago with the Colombian Army. Uh, they need to upgrade their firepower capacity. So with them, we decided to start this project where we have a 30 millimeter cannon a 762 coaxial gun, and an integration of missiles for tanks. Uh, the idea is for, for us to start manufacturing the systems in 2018. We just got the green light during Expo Defensa, so we're very happy about it. We work with uh, an Israeli company called Kontrop for the uh, electro-optic systems. It's going to be an autonomous system that can work by itself while the turret is idle, so it can supply perimeter control. When the turret is engaged, protection system comes to make sure the electro-optics are not uh, hurt or damaged by enemy fire. Uh, it has a radar system to alert of possible attacks coming towards the vehicle and take evasive or soft or hard kill actions. Uh, it's fully bullet uh, protection. ATK is very responsible, very serious about the supply of the gun. So the supply of the gun, even if it's under one contract with four, 
it will only be supplied to the Army and the integration will be held with the Army for this project to work with the MK44. Indomilit, the military industry company, is a 100% owned company by the government. Uh, I am Javier Miranda, my name is Javier Miranda, I'm part of the sales team. And uh, Indomilit is producing weapons and ammunition for uh, civil market and uh, military market. This one is the new submachine gun, it's based on the Cordoba platform. The Cordoba is a pistol designed by Indomilit in Colombia and based upon that kind of heat, if you want to call it, we design a faster and uh, more wearable weapon, which is this submachine gun. It's 9 millimeters. it's got a rate of fire from 400 to 500 uh, rounds per minute, and it's got a 8 inches barrel. This new submachine gun has got rails, it's a picantine rail system. Uh, the charging level is ambidextrous, like most of the gun is ambidextrous. You see the mechanism is ambidextrous as well. It's got the ejection port on the right side and the uh, magazine release. release is ambidextrous as well. It's got this buttstock which is extensible. It's extensible and also folds. This is the Cordoba standard which is, was launched like three years ago, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, based on this platform, Indomil has designed this brand new Cordoba, which is the same Cordoba being the second or third uh, lightest pistol on the market. The same concept of Cordoba, which is reliable, safe and accurate. But this one has got just a strike of fire. It means it doesn't have the hammer and it's the lightest pistol ready to shoot, just cock and go. We have two magazines, nine rounds and 15 rounds. Of course we can extend it or make it shorter at the client's will. It so got Picantin rails, which is a standard Picantin rail, so you can add lasers or beams or uh, uh, flashlights or whatever you want to use. Not proprietary of the gun, you can use any any, any kind of accessories. Basically, this is the Galil AR platform with an extender barrel and, uh, and a suppressor. This one is using uh, these standard rails so you can add whatever sights you want to use. And it's got this platform as a bootstock for using as an exporter rifle or as a sniper rifle. One of the things that has got this rifle is we made some internal changes. So this rifle can uh, fire 5.56 five, or 223. Any of the cartridges without no problem. It's also a new product, it's a single grenade launcher. You can ask every single product for Indomil, it's folded, folded on the stock. You can see, so it's very portable, very light, it's really light, very portable and you can carry it with you with no extra weight. You can even carry in your side pocket. We take the old and well-known and very functional platform of Galil AR and we, with a simple step, we can change it into this. This is a brand new Galil that has got exactly the same thing that Indomit have been changing in rifles. It's got a picantine rail for the hand grip. It got a change on the on the pistol. It changed the hand grip from the standard one to a pistol grip, which is more comfortable. The stock remains fold and also can be uh, moved in, into six positions. The caliber remains 5.56, five, but with some internal changes, you can fire 2.23 two, also. And we can cut. Let's just cut the barrel from 18 inches into 8 inches or 13 inches or we can leave it as 18 inches. I'm Andres Mejia. Uh, I'm uh, the general manager of Farmer International and uh, our company is based here in Colombia and we produce all kind of uh, armoring for vehicles, helicopters, boats and all different uh, type of uh, 
of armoring. Right now this vehicle is uh, it's in the service uh, with the Colombian Army and also there are some units in the police and they basically they are using it to protect the, the infrastructure of uh, oil, oil ducts and, and also uh, for the highways and patrolling the highways. This is um, based on a Ford chassis, uh, on a Ford F 550, and um, uh, all the armoring design and everything was was made here in Colombia. Uh, this is uh, for this right now they are using it for a troop. It's a, as a troop carrier, and um, it has uh, uh, many different accessories like thermal cameras and all different stuff. They have a, all a different type. Uh, the, the police and the, and the other one that it's in service in with the army, it has a different turret. One completely covered and other ones are just uh, with partial protection in the front and the, on the back. Uh, two, the, the driver and the one in the side. Then there's another two uh, in the back uh, looking uh, forward. And then uh, on the back there are uh, two rows of uh, four, four, four soldiers. The vehicle you're standing in front of called Karnaf, which was actually created uh, to establish well performance of off-road capabilities where other vehicles don't have it, without decreasing the payload and anything that you want to put on the vehicle. Actually, there is no ch chassis in this vehicle. It's like a monocoque system, which gives us a lot of flexibility when we are going off-road uh, on very high level uh, attitude or desert or mud or anything like that. The origin vehicle was designed in Israel, a company called ProJeep, and the name Karnaf came from there. And actually TPS and Apple are building it for the local market in Latin America. The flexibility of this vehicle is that it can be actually designed for five people as the vehicle you see here. It can be a pickup for two people and it can be also stretched over up to 10 and 12 people like a troop, small troop carrier without decreasing the payload of the vehicle. We think that this vehicle can actually serve uh, some units in the army uh, as hunters, which this vehicle can bring them to a strategic area where other cannot. And with the missile, the anti-tank missile, actually they can perform very well over there with the vehicle. As you can see the vehicle, the anti-tank missile is the spike missile over Fael in, from Israel.